Hello everyone and thank you for joining me here. My name of course is Mr. Mocha Lover and let's continue playing as a Russian SFSR. Right now, I have played it again a little bit ahead of time from where we left off last time. It's June 4th, 1955. And as you can tell, I'm on the border between the, my lands, or, you know, Russian occupied Mexico lands, and against the American South border, American Southern border, with a few Mexicans defending the other side. So, right now, I have already reformed, reorganized our groups. Almost four armies worth of 30 divisions, except for this guy. Except for Vasily. He lost a few guys on the way over here. Um, but yeah, not too bad. Air superiority isn't too bad either. Uh, I basically just started up the game. But we do have a problem. Finally, we have a naval battle, which we might not win. So, as you can tell, we have a pride of the fleet here. Uh, our battleships are extremely injured, like... Less than 8% for the Karl Marx, which is our 1940 battleship. And then our pride of our fleet is at 64% strength. Which is a super heavy battleship. We have sunk an American destroyer. But our forces are trying to retreat immediately. And I stopped playing because I wanted to bring this to your attention. Just because, dear God, I don't want to lose the pride of my fleet or my battleship. Um, what is this? What does 68% mean? Screening efficiency. Oh, we have 100%. That's really good. Defends your capital ships against enemy torpedoes. Which is really good. Unfortunately, they have air superiority within this naval battle. I don't have carriers with me at the moment in this naval battle, which really sucks. But I'm going to go ahead tell ahead. Tell these guys ahead. Just run away. Immediately get the hell out of there. And I've already sent another 100, 100 fighters to help guard this area. So, for the love of God, please disengage. Disengage. Get the battleships out of here as quick as possible. The Karl Marx is 5.6 strength. Oh, this is going to be a tight one. 5.6, escape progress is going well, it's going very well, the speed at which we are escaping is really good, we are currently in a storm, we have sunk an enemy battleship, what the heck, as we're leaving, how did we do that, it received a critical hit by a torpedo, oh, I love torpedoes so much, oh, it looks like one of our battleships might have escaped, oh, the Karl Marx is at 1.4% strength, oh, will it make it out, I don't know, oh, did it make it out, we sunk three destroyers, okay, the enemy navy is also trying to get uh, engage, I think. No, they're disengaged. Disengage. I think they're trying to disengage in total. Completely, yeah. Alright, oh my goodness. So, so far, that's extremely close. Look how much strength that doesn't have. So, right now, this is literally the last great American fleet. They have up to 27 ships. Oh my god, look at that. We sunk the battleship while we were retreating. Three destroyers and 14 planes. Now, for the love of god, please get to a port. Um, oh, what is going on? It, now, I was watching Feedback Gaming, if he's, you know, channel on YouTube if you haven't heard of him. Really great YouTuber and, you know, Hoi4 player. But, uh, he was talking about what all these numbers mean. I don't exactly remember. I'm not exactly keen on remembering what's exactly going on around here, but I think these guys are just trying to find the other fleets, the other enemy fleets, which include, of course, the enemy fleets that we were just trying to beat up. Which, in which they actually might be retreating themselves. Right now, I have already told my subs. No, just get to get to the port. Oh my god, I'm tr I want my subs to begin trying to track down all enemy convoys as well as ships, so that they can do a good job at destroying enemy ships. Because subs four, sub fours with the best torpedoes are just apparently broken as all hell. But can you believe that? Can you believe we have a the Karl Marx, basically the first battleship that we made together that was actually been really good has almost literally been sunk it survived b by sheer luck with 1.6 percent strength i mean that had holes in its hull for god's sakes i mean jesus i mean it was so close i mean at this point you might as well just slap on a new hole on this bad boy because it was basically almost dead and that was amazing oh hello there USS Lake Chaplin. Holy crap, its strength went from like 100 to 12 or something. What happened? Oh, it's been damaged by my... Ah, uh, my other battleships are coming in, my other battleship threes. And it couldn't escape. It received a critical hit and then got hit by torpedoes. Oh my gosh. Ah. Uh, its aircrafts have been evacuated to the airbase in Texas. And now we're taking out these things. Uh... Let's see, it looks like the heavy guns actually hit the light cruiser, which is awesome. I mean, as long as the enemies don't have, like, a, 
the naval task forces the same side as yours or even stronger you're probably going to end up winning oh my goodness we lost they sunk we lost we sunk another one so for the oh we can't really tell the damage that done to here but we did do a lot of heavy gun damage oh my gosh that was amazing oh oh and we found the rest of the other fleet uss oklahoma and early cruiser hull oh my god i love it oh i mean i survive the Karl Marx. Karl Marx cannot die in this timeline. It's just so good. Holy smoke arenos. As you can tell, I'm just so pleased with the work that our the proletariat has done. Only proletariat armor can survive against bourgeois task forces. I mean, just I don't know. It was just ah, uh, it was so close. I was I was almost starting to sweat about losing that ship. I'm just no, no. But regardless, we must continue on into the lands of the bourgeoisie. Oh, well, maybe not exactly the bourgeoisie. It was the former lands of the bourgeoisie, but right now they have chosen to be potential comrades, but ultimately they're not really comrades of us at all. They are believers in Stalinism, the man or the belief that one man should have all power and reign to liberate the revolution. No, 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 no. We don't believe in that here. No, 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 no. Oh, look, they're attacking us. It's a couple jungle boys doing a great job. A couple j Polish jungle boys. Oh my gosh, what just happened? Um, so, U.S. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of few extra ships. The carriers survived, but not really. Oh my gosh. Wait, who's the Sevastopol? So, the carrier was sunk by the Sevastopol, and the other carrier was sunk by the Stoi Stoiki. Which is something here. It's probably a screen, actually. Probably torpedoed. Ah, uh, Mermansk Nikolaev. Mermansk. Um. Oh, so a light cruiser sunk these light cruisers, and the battleship was sunk by the Serdity. Sur Who's Serdity? Huh. I don't know. It's either a, so a screen sunk a battleship. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Amazing. Just, this has got to be one of the best timelines. Alright, so we've already taken a little piece of Texas, which I'm pleased with. So, that means right now, we can engage, this actually might be the last episode here, but let's go ahead and have a good time in invading the United States. Okay, so we're not invading over here very well. In this part of Texas, other parts are going okay. I mean, the enemies probably have a lot of air superiority, but something to... Oh, the part of the German fleet. Very nice. I uh, still have used heavy cruisers, huh? Well, with that invasion going, let us go ahead and do this. Hmm. Do this. Come over here. Patrol, and let us go, my friends. We have breached Arizona. And, of course, we've already breached Texas. That's kind of old news, but we definitely breached more of Texas. Very nice. Uh, let's see. We're going to need probably a little bit more air superiority. Go and throw you on to somewhere. 1,400, 1,600, 1,700. 1,400 it is. Planes. We are scrambling a lot or disrupting a lot of enemy planes. 87% of enemy planes have been uh, disrupted with some of them taking losses. Amazing. Truly amazing. Nice. We are moving around. We're doing a great job. We have sunk an enemy light cruiser. Actually, this honestly might be the last episode in this campaign. Which wouldn't be bad. Ooh, advanced strategic bomber. Very nice. Dive bombers? I don't ever use those. Um. Oh, I forgot. Oh, I've been missing out on my tanks. Oh, crap. Not like we really needed to upgrade them. But, uh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, and we have landed. Good job, guys. Take the port immediately as we try to take other ports. That would be good. The thrust into Southern America has is going okay. Not great, some places. Oh, we overran a few divisions. Very nice. Oh, baby. Some Danes want to come here? Sure, why not? Alright, it's taking a while for other tanks to move in here. Our other tanks and marines. Up, oh, we've landed. We have formed a front. Go ahead and you come over here. And then you come over here. Uh, we've cut these other, this American division off, which is great. Move up to closer to Tallahassee. And uh, very, very good. You guys are coming down here too. Awesome. Really awesome. We've taken 
Have we taken... Oh, we took... We took San Diego. Awesome. Going is kind of slow at the moment. Casualties at the current moment are... 4 million, some, for Canada. And over 15 for the US. Very nice. We've suffered a little bit less than 9. Overall, not too bad. Awesome, guys. Awesome. Go ahead and take out Miami. While the rest of you guys take push up a little bit. And come here. Actually, you might as well come over here. That would be great. Yeah, and they have a ton of enemy planes. Holy crap. Uh, just... Convoy escort. Do convoy escort. I want you to... Not get hit too much. So I'm going to send some of you guys immediately to repair. How many... Oh, we actually have... A, oh, there's a lot of dockyards we could use. A lot of guys are moving around. Cancun. Nice. Destroyed that infantry division down there. Ah, we've invaded New Mexico finally. Uh, this is just... Honestly, with air, so much air superiority and ground support, destroying the American manpower and industrial and equipment base... Isn't too hard. We just got rid of 50,000 more Americans right there. As an American, it sounds very painful to hear this. But it also sounds really good since we're going to win. So, I don't know, man. Wait, Carrier Fighter 6? Wait, you jumped from 3 to 6. Holy cow. Uh, sure, yeah. That sounds good to me. Alrighty tighty. Alright, Marines, you've done a great job. There's only 10 of you divisions. But that's probably all that we really need. Awesome. Now, obviously, we have other fronts here as well. Uh, the Netherlands has invaded New Brunswick and Nova Scotia. Uh, apparently, Germany earlier, but you didn't see this, but invaded Massachusetts, Connecticut, Rhode Island over here. But now, apparently, they've, they've taken the area around Washington. Interesting. Go ahead and just build up a lot of uh, thingies around here. <clears throat> And they're trying to push into the rest of Maryland. Hmm, interesting. Very interesting. Uh, ooh. Very good. And how is this going up here? Because we haven't really looked at this part. We did invade through here initially, but there really wasn't much movement, especially when you have, like, level 1 or 2 infrastructure. Not very good to attack through, so. And probably still not very good to attack through either. Nice, we took L.A. We have taken L.A. Probably only need Washington, L.A., New York City, and Chicago to mostly get all the victory points that we really need. Oh, the Germans really have moved in. Holy cow. Claiming Washington for their own, eh? Yeah, do that. Do Florida, Georgia, pretty much all the East Coast. I mean, there's really no point to not take it at this point. And don't forget New York City. Um, There it goes. It's just a little laggy. Awesome. Do this. Do Oregon, Washington, Texas. Ah, that's a big state of Texas. So good. I mean, American casualties are piling up now. How many divisions does America even have? 250. That's not bad. They lost a lot of ships. I mean, America, man. Come on. For you guys, I want you to be careful, so go ahead and move out if you need to. And let's see, where are you guys? Anything? Anything? Nope. Awesome. You guys are still stuck down here in Brazil, which is fine. So, I want everyone to pile up in Florida. We're all going to go to the beach, but we're not going to stay very long at the beach. So, get those booties moving. We're raring to go. And actually, it still says South America up here, but whatever. Uh, poles are up there, and my tanks are over down here. Yeah, tanks probably should be just over here. Yep. Oh, they actually landed in over here, Montreal. Very cool, very cool. If I had to, I'd probably actually just put you over here and tell you to go capture Chicago and Detroit and this area. Ah, uh, the industrial heartland. Nothing like it. Very nice. Put you on that. Slowly but surely, we will beat the Americas. Or America, since we've already taken out the rest of the Americas. Very nice. Very, very nice. Do some anti-tank, because why not? Some Koreans want to join us. I think it's 1955. We can give a little piece of territory back to the Chinese over here. So, mark the state and transfer it over. There you go, China. I hope you feel good about that new piece of Sui, 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 Wan. 
Yuan. Something like that. And lower the autonomy of two people, Denmark and Korea. Nah, not today, man. Not today. Alright, you guys can be a little bit more on a balanced manner in assaulting enemy positions. Because right now, air superiority is very nice. Very, very nice. They're defending pretty well, but air support, you can't beat air. Oh my goodness. So we have equal losses in the air. They have about double the planes in the air. Our planes have been really disrupted, but we still do a little bit of damage. What about the East Coast? Oh my gosh, we're doing a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Holy crap. No wonder the Germans are able to push in there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sunk 43 enemy heavy maritime bombers. Wow. Alright, so for you guys, you guys have been doing great. Add this entire area. That would be fine. Take this off. I did. Cool. Repair first. And then these are destroyers. These are other guys. Go ahead and repair yourselves as well. Subs 2 are on this side. You can take this off. Take this off. Do the entire coast now. And then you guys are operating over here, so just go ahead and do this as well. So we probably don't... Eh, this is still needed, kind of. We can take out the Demaria plane. Take out this one, too. Caribbean Sea, probably not. Gulf of Mexico, probably not. Um, yeah, I might as well do that. Getting closer and closer to the enemy's convoys. Wow, we are really pushing up now into the lower central part of the U.S. Oh, another Polish division. Thank you, Poles. Your contribution to this war will not go unremembered. As the Germans are now losing areas of which they already conquered. They still have Baltimore, which is good, but I don't think they have a lot of supply through here, so let's go help them out. And uh, Quebec. Nothing says Quebec like a bunch of Germans invading. Alright, they're actually winning. Not bad, not bad. What's the manpower of Canada? It's got to be like a million, right? Yeah, about a million or so. Maybe a little bit less, maybe a little more. They have mutinies, which isn't a good thing when you're defending literally your own country against enemies invading. Their ships are at a massive number called four ships. Cool. Very cool. And the Allies, or the United States, doesn't like us that we're uh, trying to convoy raid them, so they're bombing the hell out of us. Interesting. Very interesting. Honestly, America, where are your divisions? Like, you have, like, up... Well, you have 78 or 235. So... Where are they? We shot down a lot of enemy planes. Oh, I lost a sub. I mean, if I lose a few ships here and there, you know, so be it. So be it, you know. Alright, from here on out... I want you to do this very carefully, because the odds of you not winning are high. If we can actually take this other part of Alaska, that wouldn't be bad. Obviously, we can't really win here. But we have another carrier plane. Um, not sure where that was from. Let's do another dive bomber. Why not? Ooh, they are trying to really hit our ships. Really, really, really badly. Uh, I thought I already had enough here. But just in case, add another 400 to this area. Oh, we actually lost a sub. Nothing. We lost a sub. Deploying. I need those 400 fighters now. Nice. More enemy planes have been sunk. Or shot down, I suppose. Good. Keep it like that. Keep it like that. Lost another sub. Expected. Just don't lose the carrier a lot more subs. Hmm. At least we took this area. That's nice. Oh, are we actually winning now? Oh, if we can actually win, that'd be great. Yeah. Even though they can pierce us. Huh. Lots of enemy planes are getting shot down, but I know the enemies have a lot of planes in general. You guys, I'm worried about you. Go ahead and repair. Subs, go and repair as well. 
pretty laggy when you call in all your ships. Oh my goodness. Nice. Is this a port? No, this was a port over here on the right. Did we actually win here or lose? Oh, we actually won. Nice. But other than that, destroyer sunk. American plane shot down. We've almost linked up with the group in Florida, which is awesome. And we will very shortly be able to link up. Go ahead and move in, boys. So we're attacking from the south. We haven't taken a lot of the California coast, surprisingly. We've taken a good chunk of the traditional American south. Uh, yeah, oh god, we're shooting down a lot of enemy planes now. Someone's invading us? Or... 68? What, why is there... A, a, are Canadians and my guys fighting in the ocean? That's a lot of defense. Alright, more enemy planes. How many enemy planes have we killed already? Probably a few hundred at least. But they got a few thousand, so... That's not very good. Everyone go ahead and repair still. Yeah. I mean, it's just a matter of time for us to actually go ahead and just take everything, so... Let's have a little bit more fun with this. Good. Good. Tanks, where are you? You are still on the way up here. Okay, then. Oh, they have Delaware. Wait, is this... This should be a part of Delaware, right? Wait, where's Delaware? That's New Jersey. That's Pennsylvania. Ma Maryland, do you own a part of Delaware here? Or does Delaware not a state? Maybe Delaware is not a state in this game. Maybe I'm right. Huh. Then again, I don't live in Delaware. I don't really know anything about Delaware. I don't think most people even recognize what Delaware actually is. Oh, well. You know, it's Delaware. Delaware? I, oh, God, that was a terrible joke. Absolutely terrible. The cringe is absolutely real. All right. Oh, we're actually pushing them back despite us not... Or at least me not thinking that we'd actually be able to do that. Interesting. Subs, they're all getting hit. Oh, some of them really need to go ahead and repair. Let's pause it real quick for our subs. You all will do, uh, do convoy rating, but go home first and repair. I'm not sure why it takes... It's very laggy for this, but whatever. Uh, ships. Do that, just in case. 15 out of 20. We'll go up to probably another higher number than 20, but... Could be wrong. Uh, 16. It's going up a little bit by now. Cool. So, we're fighting... We're already past Oklahoma. Oh, we're still fighting in Oklahoma, but we're almost out of there. We're almost out of Arizona, out of New Mexico. We've already pushed pretty far into Nevada. Pushing through Arkansas, pushing through Alabama and Mississippi. Nice. Ooh, five American... Some ships are trying to escape, and we're saying no. Tanks, are you up here yet? Some of you actually are. That's good. Give them hell, boys. Oh, yeah, they can't pierce these tanks. Oh, 60... If you didn't see, it was 61... 33 for breakthrough. That's a ton of breakthrough. American losses right now, 17 million on their own field. Oh my goodness. And Germany just had to screw up my front line over here, didn't you, Germany? Didn't you? Cool. Uh, they, act, they got 50 more divisions. 121 now? What the heck? Not a lot of convoys. They actually got more planes, it looks like. Very nice. The Germans, I mean, Jesus. The Germans really wanted to invade North America really badly. Holy crap. They even invaded New Jersey. It's almost all German now. Uh, if you need more supply, I'll put, I'll put a port there for you, Germans. Fighting through the Carolinas. Fighting into Tennessee. Into, what was this, Nebraska? Kansas. I never remember Kansas either. They're like in the center of the entire country. Never been to Kansas. I heard there's a lot of uh, tornadoes over there. Ooh, it looks like we researched something that doesn't matter to me. Uh, there's a lot of convoys, or at least a few convoys around here. Mostly just planes that are trying to kill us. Which is pretty normal. 
I guess this is a, this is one way in which you could reduce the number of planes the enemies have, I suppose. Let's make it lag. Cool. I mean, we've already taken out half the United States. If I could take out, like, California faster, I absolutely would, but there's really no way for us to do that efficiently or very well, very quickly. So, we're kind of stuck doing this. Wow, their tanks. They barely are. Oh, these are marine tanks. They barely made it over here and they're already pretty injured. United States, you are more than halfway to capitulation, which is awesome. And then we will have a peace deal after this. So I guess this actually might be the last episode in this series. Alright, that's good, actually, because I need to start thinking about the next series and how many thumbnails I'm going to probably have to make. And be mostly because I actually won't be here for a few days next week. So. Yeah, I have to think about how many episodes I'm going to have to pre-record. Unfortunately, it is the beginning of a new series next week. So, I won't be able to respond to comments when I'm gone. Unfortunately, it's not my fault. I don't want to go on another trip. But I'm, let's say, conscripted to go on another trip. So, and during the summer months here. Awesome. Can they pierce us? Yes, they, even the militia can pierce us. Come on, man. Even garbage militia can pierce our divisions. Man, by the time you can make mechanized, it's... Not really that worth it. Oh, they have a nuclear reactor in North Carolina. Very cool. Hope it doesn't blow. Uh, build one in Tennessee. That's a pretty good location. Build one over here in... What state is this? That's Kansas. This isn't Wyoming. This is... Col Colorado. That's another state. Uh, it's a little bit more well-known, because they you know, it's uh, Aspen, I think. Is it? But, uh, it, you know, Colorado's got a lot of the Rockies. Beautiful mountains. Actually, it looks kind of hilly on the right side here. Or, the, no, it's just plains on the right. And then the Rockies begin kind of over here, of course, with New Mexico as well. Huh. Alright. I guess I'm learning geography here. And we have Utah, of course, and then this is Wyoming. And the Dakotas, which actually I've been to. Alright, very interesting. Let's see, anything over here? Ah, uh, tankies. No upgrades for you, just because we'll get to the next tank pretty soon. Not yet, but pretty soon, but by that time it won't really matter. Because the US will be dead, and we'll basically be done with this series. Can't believe it already, wow. My world conquests always go a little bit more than a month's worth of playthroughs. Or a month's worth of time. Uh, you're gonna need some help pushing through here. Yeah. I mean, we're at, what, 9.5? Yeah, about 9.5, 9.6 million casualties. The United States is at 18, and they're going to soon capitulate, which is great. All we really need is Chicago, and they're done. Been in Chicago many, many times, actually. Well, maybe not many, many, but quite a few times. Ah, oh, California's hour is great. We're slowly pushing through the hilly, hilly land, the mountainous land within Canada. Alright, boys, I need you to turn it up to 11. Nice. Give the Canadians what for? Cool. We are pushing through Indiana, Illinois, Iowa. Iowa. I always thought Iowa was further west than this, but no, there's other even further west nations and nations, states, than Iowa. Um, Kentucky, right? Yeah, Kentucky. Ah, Vir oh, Virginia. The old, the good Virginia. None of this Virginia and West Virginia stuff. No, no, no. I just like Virginia. Actually, if you want to have a little bit of fun, we can teach the Americans, the Stalinist Americans, a lesson. Hmm, Chicago is their capital, and Kaiserreich, Chicago is also the capital of the the combined syndicates. And I have about 53 nukes. Oh no, hold on. So let's have a little bit of fun here. This video will go on a little bit longer than normal, but not an extreme amount. So, if it's Chicago, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, because the 13 is our lucky number here. Detroit? Ah, Mr. Ford. Apparently built some refineries in oil here. This is going to make sure that the American uh, industrial heartland can never recover. Ah, uh, Pittsburgh. Ah, uh, Cleveland. Ah, uh, Columbus. Do I have Cincinnati yet? Ah, uh, I'm getting pretty close. Charleston? Sure, why not? Um, right, oh, oh, we don't have air superiority up there. We have Washington, which is great. Uh, before we move on, is there anywhere else I can really nuke? Seattle? Is that Seattle? Seattle. 
Um, what about Canada now? Ottawa. I'll give you most of that and give Montreal nothing. Okay, cool. All right, well, America, I hope you're happy now. Thank you for very much for playing America. Um, I look forward to... Oh, my God. Oh, we even hit Minnesota. I hit Minnesota? Or was that someone else? I don't think I hit Minnesota. I didn't remember to even hit Minnesota. I thought I nuked Wisconsin. Whatever. But, uh, yeah, America, I hope you felt that. I hope you felt very good about that. I probably nuked literally everyone in Chicago dead with, like, 13 nukes dropped. But apparently they still have 10 million people living because nukes totally make sense in this game. Uh, I don't think I nuked them hard enough. Uh, okay, one more. <gasps> one more, America. Oh, yeah. And you know what? No, no civilians have died. Look at that. 10.2 million people still live here despite getting nuked 14 times. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. And we took Chicago. It's over. Sayonara, Communist States of America. It's been fun. And now we gotta go for your pesky younger brother. Or really, what should have been the 14th colony of the United States of America. But we're not gonna get into that debate right now. Even though that'd be really cool. Oh my gosh, look at how big East, Ger East Germany. No, Germany, Ger what are you doing, Germany? No, 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 no. Germany, you're only East Germany because we split you up initially. Just because you're East doesn't mean you get the Northeastern states of the United States. Come on, man. That's, that's terrible. That's terrible. Absolutely terrible. Oh, more immigrants. Good. As we nuke people, they want to join us. Who do we have to, left? Is it, everyone literally has capitulated in the Allies, but Canada. Canada, you are going to get walloped so hard right now. I swear to God. Everyone, make it over here. Take Ottawa, take Montreal. Uh, I don't know what any other Canadian states are. Maybe well, we already have Quebec or Quebec. There's Vancouver on the left here. British Columbia. Vancouver Island. You know what? I'm thinking something. I'm thinking something really bad. I really want to nuke it. But that's probably best not to. Oh, how about this? No, Manitoba. No. Are there any more Canadian cities? My geography... Oh, here we go. Southern Ontario. There we go. Sorry. Sorry if you're a Canadian, but not really. Ah, oh, so warm. Cool. Uh, go ahead, guys. Just go ahead and capitulate the Canadians. And then I will edit this. And make sure... We'll edit it just a little bit. And make sure that we have a good time. Oh, wait. There's Toronto, too. I have another nuke. Um... I don't want to nuke my own soldiers. Montreal. Is there any... They have an air base up here. No, I can't nuke that. Um... Are there... There's probably not too many northern cities up here. There, that wouldn't really make a lot of sense. Oh, how about Labrador? I've built you up so much, Labrador, and we never got anything out of it. Get out of here, British Empire. Oh, six destroyers. Very good. Come on. Oh, we actually took... We need Montreal, please. Thank you. Uh, we need Toronto, if we could. Okay, how much more do I need to... Oh, actually, Canada sells quite a few more victory points I need to take. Just mob them. Come on, guys. Oh, what about over here? Anything over here in St. Lawrence, perhaps? Yes? No? Montreal has fallen? And Canada is basically done. Oh my gosh, we've done it, boys and girls. So, uh, I know we're pretty far into the game, into the video, but we only have a few minutes left. So, right now, I'm going to go ahead and edit this, and we'll see what happens after I'm done editing this for like 20 minutes. So, I'll see you in just a few seconds. Hey guys, uh, I'm done with making the peace deal, and you can already see my results. Let's talk about it. So, Canada. They became the Canadian Popular Front with their traditional maple leaf flag with a couple extra colors, led by Tim Buck. I've never heard of this guy. Next up is, of course, the Divided United States. I did this because I didn't want the United States to be too strong in any one area, so I basically... I didn't know what to do, so I basically just restored the old Confederacy with all of its claims, including New Mexico and Missouri and Kansas, because I remember hearing of things like... Bleeding Kansas, and Missouri was a battleground state. Uh, there's nothing really in Indiana here. Illinois would be too far north. So, it pretty much stopped there. And we also have, of course, West Virginia with the rest of Virginia. Didn't want the United States to get too powerful, so I decided to divide it into two. 
Look at that weird flag. Next up is the Mexican Soviet Republic. They own all of Mexico, of course, under Don Dionisio Encina, and all of Central America. So they control the Panama Canal, limits the number of puppets they can have. Uh, next up in the Caribbean is basically a West Indies Federation from Kaiserreich, except we're, except we're Trotskyist, under Bayas Rocco Calderio. And they're all under revolutionary Cuba. Next up is Argentina Populares. So basically Argentina. <gasps> Fanny, hello Fanny Mama. But uh, yeah, I made her in charge of all of the basically western part of South America with Brazil on the other side making up the other part. Uh, Africa. I gave most of it to just Portugal because they can be trusted, eh, maybe a little bit, somewhat, because of their effort in liberating the proletariat, even though they're fascist, which we'll work on, not really, but hopefully the future will work on these guys to make sure that they uh, don't stay fascist for very long. And of course, I compensated the Spanish with the rest of Africa, just because I didn't want to deal with it. Um, actually, yeah, I can't take out the Suez by myself, okay. Uh, so that's basically Africa. Europe is pretty much the same. I have the French Commune here. Uh, I decided because of the tensions that spawned between the French and Germans before World War II that it would be best to take the territories that could be contested. Mostly, of course, Alsace-Lorraine, but even Franche Comte, which German Reich has claims on this. So I basically separated these two guys. I had Germany annex Switzerland just because. Uh, I mean, 66% of Switzerland's like speak, speaks some sort of a German dialect. So I figured, yeah, why not? We have a pretty powerful Germany. I took this area. I've united the lowlands into a single country, just so that people can stop fighting with each other. Northern Ireland's been given back to Ireland. Uh, the UK is here with the Union of Britain, which I've, of course, never heard of, which is totally not in Kaiserreich, but it's not the right leader. Uh, we have Wales, Communist Wales, and then Communist Scotland. Oh my gosh, that's a weird flag. Cool. I and besides, for most of these islands that you'll see, I've taken most of these just because, unless it's like the Caribbean, uh, I need these individual places such as you know Malta, Crete, Cyprus. Uh, as you can tell, Portugal's remained the same. Well, Portugal's over here, but Poland has remained the same. I took all the Scandinavian countries because I figured it'd be good, except for Denmark. Uh, Czechoslovakia Republic is here. Uh, I decided to make Hungary bigger just because I've never seen a bigger Hungary, and I figured they they've been a pretty loyal ally lately. So I figured I might as well give them access to the sea, which is kind of crazy to think about. But I still thought about the Serbs and the close connection we have with them. So uh, I gave them uh, Serbia, of course. Morava. Uh, I also gave them Bosnia because no matter what I do here, people are going to hate each other. So I might as well make people hate each other even more. They have Montenegro. And I even gave them Albania. Greece has been reduced to a puppet state, really small. I made sure I compensated Bulgaria. Romania can go eat a dick. I don't know why, just because... I want their territory, apparently. Uh, Turkish Social Republic is here. I annexed Ir Ireland. Annexed Iran before. I basically annexed Afghanistan. Because that's what we always want. The Soviets or Russians to annex Afghanistan. And I gave the, my puppet the Arabian Assembly. They're actually not even my puppet. But I compensated them with the rest of the peninsula here. As well as the former French-British territory in the Middle East. So that's actually really cool. Um, I haven't given all the territory back to the Chinese yet, but that would be a plan for me to eventually to do that. Obviously, we have the People's Republic of Pakistan under Haji Mohammed Dinesh, and of course, Soviet Raj. That's kind of cool. Uh, actually, ooh, Kashmir. They both have these as core states. Ooh, that's going to be a source of contention eventually. Uh, I couldn't figure out who to give all this territory to in the Pacific. So, uh, so I did liberate Thai People's Republic, gave them more land. But for the Pacific, I just gave it to the Soviet East Indies. I know they were former Dutch colonial overlord colony stuff, but I figured that'd probably be the best because they actually have some sort of power in the Pacific. So I also have a lot of Pacific islands. But I united basically Australia and New Zealand and turned into Australasia. So that was kind of cool as well. Ah, hello, Richard Dixon. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the world. I'm sure someone's going to comment, hey, you should give this to somebody else. But that's pretty much the end of the series, guys. Those were that was actually pretty, a lot of fun, especially in the beginning, with uh, just trying to leave the country as Trotsky, see what would happen differently, and how World War III turned out. So, actually, it's not too bad. It's pretty fun. Uh, tomorrow, I guess, we'll start a new series. Actually, I'm going to be very busy tomorrow and the next day. Oh, God. I have assignments due. But, regardless, hope you enjoy the series, guys. I'm going to play a mod next time, a different mod I've never played before. I actually probably need to play it once or twice before I actually show you guys it. 
But regardless, uh, leave a like if you like the series, leave a like for this video, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you tomorrow as I will be busy making more thumbnails. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and I hope you have a great, great day.